guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now hosted on the Money Phoenix Game Channel. Today's video game tutorial, I'm going to show you how simple it is to play Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 Full Burst Online using the Steam solution. Actually, what we're going to do is, if you go to the more info section, I have a link where you can go to the Tungle Wiki. And if you read the wiki, here is basically has some real basic instruction of how you play this game online. But the more important thing is, is of course, the MP fix. So what you do is you download the MP fix, go ahead, download it, and extract that into your game folder of the Naruto. After you're done with that, basically go ahead and make sure your Steam is running in the background. Um, one thing that I always recommend gamers to do is go to settings, go to downloads, and set your download region UK London. That way, if everybody has the same download region, it makes it easier to find everybody else for a good gaming session. So go ahead, launch your game using ns3fblauncher.exe. I already did that. Here I am inside the game. But let me tell these Tungle guys I'm hosting. I'm hosting now. That way I can coordinate the game. Otherwise, one way you could do is you can go to rank matches and go ahead and invite people. So I'm right now I'm using my PS2 controller to and then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and go to a rank match. If you go back to the Tungle Wiki, it has some list of instructions on how you can play this game. Online is pretty simple as well. All right, so online battle, we're gonna go to, we're gonna do ranked match, and then go ahead and we'll do create a session. And then go down to create a session regions any. And then what you can do is you can go ahead and invite your friend, or you can just coordinate through the tungle room, for example, say, hey, I'm hosting a game, come and search for me. And then if everything is working properly, booyah, we got someone who found my game, logging us, awesome, battle okay. And then what you can do is go ahead, select your character, select your power-ups, etc., etc., your stage, and have a lot of good times. Now, granted, sometimes the game might lag. Why does it lag? Maybe it's because it's a ping connection from one user to the next. So, but if you're playing with someone who's nearby to you, then it should not be an issue. Alright, so we're in the game. Let's go ahead. I'll just select one of these players here. Select the stage. Alright, awesome. We are clearly in the game. Now, I'm not a very good Naruto player, and sometimes the lag might throw me off. So, let's see. I can get this working. Transmission error. Unbelievable. Can you believe that? So, if that happens, what you gotta do is just go ahead and research for a new game and just start over. But at least you can see that, yeah, this does work. Unfortunately, I had a transmission error, but uh, eventually you will get a working game. So that is today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, let me come here on YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.